Welcome back, you guys, to the Move Better channel. <laughs> this is 40 and above. We are talking about Kevin Hart's video and his brand new injury for sprinting and talking about how he should sit his ass down. I can't walk. I, I we're not funny, laughing because yeah. it's, uh, Sam, you know, I we're feel the pain. at him, but we're just, it's uh, interesting. Uh, 40 year olds and above, but yeah. here, hey, you know what? Because you know, we're 40 and above. Yeah, and I ain't gonna run like that. <laughs> I ain't gonna try that. I know in my heart that I'm not gonna be able I to run like that. I might try it, but. But, uh... you know what, here's the thing. Uh, how, did, how and why did he do that in the first place? Well, you know what, Kevin Hart, I don't know if you run all the time like that or even try to sprint like that. I know you're a fast dude. I've seen some he's of the a, He's videos. in great shape. Yeah, he's in great shape. I see him working out all the time. Yeah. But, um, you know, do we, does he train for the 40? Does he train for his sprints? Does he train those runs? Does he, yeah. does he practice yeah. all the time? And that's something that um, uh, can cause that injury if you're not prepared and ready to go and then all of a sudden you want to pick yourself up. Yes, that is very true. At a younger age, we could just pick up and do that at all, at, all at, at any time we want to. But we are not set like that after the age. I mean, I would even say not even just I the mean, age of 40. Yeah, man. I see Some people see this in 30s. And sure, <laughs> yeah. 25-year-old yeah. that doesn't work out. Make them sprint. Boom, exactly. they blow something. And then so, all of a sudden, the things go out. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it comes back to conditioning. What are you conditioned to do? What are you training to do? Yeah. Uh, there, is a little, there is an age factor, but... Um, the reason why I'm laughing is because now I have like people our age saying, see, I told you you shouldn't do that. Yeah. No, that's not the message, man. The message is, yes, as you get older, you actually got to train more. Yeah. You got to train harder. And Kevin Hart does. Kevin Hart oh, yeah. kicks his ass. He, he works shout out hard. Shout out, yeah. He, I've he seen all the videos out. that he does, so shout out to that. But um, uh, I won't be running any 40-yard <laughs> dash. I mean, I work out, I work out pretty good I mean, on, on, a, on a daily basis. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so does Kevin Hart. Yeah. And so, I mean, um, you know, it is what it is. It happens. What are you going to do? Yeah, dude. You know? So is it is here's the question. Is it just 40 year olds and above? Right? No, of course not. It's man. Not. This is look, I, we just had uh, last December, we had uh, f about 15 people run the Spartan run out here in San Francisco. Um, half of them were above 50, never done this in their life. And you know what? They didn't have to go too hard, but they did it and yeah. they've accomplished it. Yeah. Right. Uh, we've had people like just so happy and joyous the fact that they, they were able something. to complete that. Um, now, in at, competition now. Right. They weren't competing, though. Now, we do have people above 50 and up that still do that and compete. Mm -hmm. But the key thing is they're training for it. And um, for any of us, again, the, 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 it doesn't matter how old you are because I have an 83-year-old client that just, you know, she was so enamored and happy that she hiked for about two and a half miles. She was so happy, right? 83 year old lady, God bless her. And so my point is age, yes, it matters as you get older, but training is the key thing. Exercise is the key thing. Consistency. Train more, train harder. C commitment, consistency. The older you get, it is. You, you gotta lift weights more as you get older. You have to, or, or else you're just gonna fall in that path of getting old, weak, and frail. Yeah, and exactly. And that's not what we're trying to do. I'm not. I hope We're trying to teach so. everybody that no matter how old you get, you got to keep on moving. Yeah. Injuries happen. Injury, he, sure. you know, Kevin Hart will come back from this, and he's going to be stronger than ever. He'll be working out. He'll be doing his thing. He'll right. Be, he'll be kicking ass again. But Absolutely. it is pretty funny to see his video. I can't walk. Because <laughs> it is. I, I feel him. I feel him on the injuries. And yeah. I, you know. But here's the funny thing. I was saying that when I was 30. <laughs> I was like, "Shit, it's my age. Oh my it's my goodness. age. Yeah, yeah. It's not. It's not. It's not your age. You just got to learn how to retrain yeah. your body. Absolutely. Everybody's gonna be dealing with injuries, no matter what age you're in. Yep. And you got to make sure that you just keep on going. I personally feel actually healthier and more mobile at age 40 plus than when I was in 30s. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So uh, some people do. Yeah, training change, and I'm staying active. So. What's the message today, folks? <laughs> move. Move. Stop thinking that you... Age is a restriction. It's age not. is a restriction. Everybody utilizes that excuse. Yeah. Right? Yeah, and that's, yeah. not, that's not what we're trying to... The message that we're trying to send. No matter if you get injured or not, you're always going to have some type of injury, but you just got to work through it. You've got to get, get right back up, get back up on that bike, whatever it is, and keep going. Yeah. Just, just be smart about it. 
but continue to move, continue to exercise, continue to train. Be careful for those people who are challenging to, sprints, <laughs> to run no. those sprints. Should they ramp up their runs? Does, if they want to sprint and they want to compete? Sure. Absolutely, man. If, if you're trying to compete and you're trying to run and you're trying to race, you got to prepare for that, man. You, you, have, you have people that run the 100 meter dash, whatever it is, they don't, they don't take it lightly, man. They, they, they work out, they run, they warm up, they sprint, they take yes. their time. They exercise, they cross train, they do it all. They get adjustments. They get adjustments, <laughs> you know they get I mean? exercise, plug, they get everything. Plug. Yeah. Exactly. And then and, and they get their recovery work in. Yeah. So it's all important. So whatever it is that you guys do, whether it's you guys are trying to work and compete in a powerlifting competition versus a sprinting competition, or you're just playing around with friends and you know that they they challenge you guys to these type of events, prepare for it. Prepare. Get yourself ready to go because you can't just all of a sudden yeah. pick something up start, and expect. And start where you're at. Don't don't start at where anyone else is at. Yeah. Start at your level. If you haven't run in years, jog for a little bit for, yeah. for a few minutes. And yeah. then you ramp up on a, on a weekly basis, whether you add five more minutes here and there. And then slowly get into uh, faster paced runs, little light sprints here and there. And then just let it build. And also listen to what your body is telling you. I had uh, last year. We were actually working with uh, Franco Finn and uh, oh, yeah. and um, a Game for Heroes, where Tim McGraw You're and right. uh, and we had all these celebrities like MC Hammer come out, and we had uh, uh, Guy Fieri. It was his event where he threw it for um, for heroes for yeah. for uh, first responders as uh, police and it was uh, a softball sheriff. game. Right? Yeah, softball. it was a softball yeah. game, and uh, we were trying. It was funny because our massage therapist and I, Mark. We were all out there trying to get people to warm up properly, and we were mm. we were on the side, and they were looking at us like, "Who are these guys?" Man? <laughs> Next thing you know, they come out after after partying all night hard, uh, all night long. They come in, and all of a sudden, strain after neck pain after <laughs> back pain, and all these old retired athletes that never really played softball before, and then all of a sudden. They're getting all the injuries, and they're coming over to the sideline, and we're working on strained hamstrings, strained obliques from twisting, uh, knee pain from running and uh, sprinting. If uh, you guys uh, didn't warm up, if you guys yeah. didn't prepare properly, especially at that old age, you guys are going to start dealing with some oh, of that yeah. pain. Yeah. Cool. Right. So be smart about what you do. Please train. If you don't know what to do, that's why there's professionals like us that can help you out. Exactly. Holler at us, shiftmovement.com. Like, subscribe, and let us know of any other topics you guys would want us to cover. And we'll see you in our next episode. Thanks, guys.